Hello, welcome to the March and Odd Show, the cybersecurity show. Your approach to hacking cybersecurity is all wrong. It is all wrong. And I'm going to let you know in this video what ethical hackers get wrong and the solution to how to fix those those kinds of things. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So hacking in its various forms has evolved significantly over the years. While it's primarily seen as a negative activity associated with cyber criminals, hackers, you name it, even ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, uh, they play an essential role in safeguarding digital systems. However, even ethical hackers can make common mistakes and, you know, that can compromise their efforts and potentially lead to serious consequences. Not in any particular order. Let's start with number one, neglecting legal and ethical boundaries. Perhaps the most significant mistake any aspiring hacker can make is crossing legal and ethical boundaries. Ethical hackers are bound by a code of conduct and legal regulations. Ignoring these rules can result in serious legal consequences and harm to your reputation. The solution for that? Ensure that you are well versed in laws related to hacking such as the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, the CFAA, in the United States. Always seek explicit permission before attempting any form of hacking or penetration testing and obtain written consent when required. Number two, failing to document and communicate. Documentation is essential in the world of hacking, whether you are working alone or as part of a team, not documenting your actions can lead to misunderstandings and missed opportunities to learn and improve. The solution for that, maintain a detailed record of your activities, including the tools used, vulnerabilities discovered, and steps taken during testing or analysis. Uh, effective communication with relevant stakeholders, such as system owners, is equally crucial. Number three, overlooking the importance of reconnaissance. Effective hacking often begins with thorough reconnaissance. Failing to gather enough information about the target system can lead to inefficient attacks and a higher risk of detection. The solution for that, prioritize reconnaissance to understand the target's architecture, technology stack, and potential vulnerability. Use tools like Nmap, Shodan or automated reconnaissance frameworks to streamline your process. Number four, skipping vulnerability scanning and enumeration. Vulnerability scanning and enumeration are crucial steps in identifying potential weaknesses in a target system. Neglecting these steps can result in overlooking vulnerabilities that could be exploited. The solution for that Employ scanning tools such as Nessus, OpenVos, or automated vulnerability scanners to identify potential weaknesses. Enumeration is also vital for collecting detailed information about the target system, such as open ports and services running. All right, not now to not 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 now for the subscribe break. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. That notification bell, okay? So please take a time. It's very free. Please hit that notification bell. Please hit the subscribe button. And please hit the like button for the algorithm. So thank you. Now let's proceed. So number five, neglecting regular updates and patch management. So outdated software and systems are more susceptible to security vulnerabilities. Ethical hackers must stay updated on the latest security patches and system updates. Solution, right? Maintain a schedule for regular updates and patches and test for vulnerabilities on the updated systems. Be aware of common vulnerabilities and exposures, also known as CVEs, associated with the technologies you are targeting. Number six, relying too heavily on automated tools. <laughs> yeah, 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 I said it, I said it. While automated tools can be immensely helpful, relying solely on them can be a mistake. Over automation can lead to false positives, missed vulnerabilities, and a lack of creativity in the hacking process. Solution. Use automated tools as aids, but don't depend on them entirely. Combine your automated scanning with manual testing, creative thinking, and problem solving. Seven, ignore social engineering. Social engineering is a powerful tool in a hacker's arsenal, focusing solely on technical aspects and neglecting human vulnerabilities can lead to incomplete assessments. The solution includes social engineering tests in your penetration testing 
or hacking activities. This could involve phishing campaigns, pretexting, or physical security assessments to evaluate how humans can be manipulated. Number eight, falling or failing, <laughs> failing to secure your own environment. Ethical hackers often emphasize testing external systems and forget to secure their own environments. Neglecting your security can expose you to risks like data breaches and loss of sensitive information. The solution for that, implement best practices for securing your own systems and data, including strong password policies, multi-factor authentication, and regular security audits. That is what a lot of hackers, ethical hackers get wrong. The approach is wrong. So those were the items that uh, once it registers, then your approach will be right, right? So please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Again, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. I appreciate your support watching the show. It, is there another approach you feel like hackers get wrong? Uh, in their processes, please, uh, let's get this conversation started because we have to get better. The better we are, the better we can protect ourselves from hackers and data and, and the risks of data breaches, etc. So uh, this is about us educating ourselves, getting better at it so we can learn and improve. So stay safe. I appreciate your viewership. See you on the next video.